Hello, this is Barry Nirmal. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe link below. Hello, in this video, I will tell you how I prepared my house for selling. Okay, this house basically uh, was a rental house. It was rented to a tenant and uh, they moved out and after moving out, I had to fix everything so that I make it ready for selling. So we decided to paint the whole house, the walls in a neutral color. So we chose this color. This color here is a light gray. We chose this and we use the same paint to, to paint the whole house. Some people, they paint one room in gray, the other room in green, the third room in pink and it's not a good idea, okay? So, uh, so that's, and also, also the, all the, the doors, see this door and the trim of the doors, they're all painted in, in white, in brilliant white, means extra white, not just white, but brilliant white, okay? So you will see that uh, this room here, this is a bedroom, and uh, you can see the closet, see, see this closet is also painted in the same color. It's also important to paint the closet nicely. And uh, not only the closet wall, but also this part. See, see this part here, the top. You, it, it, it's not seen here, but some buyer may bring a stool. He will stand on the stool and he will see. And if he sees this all dirty, he's not going to buy it. He, because he uh, wants everything clean at least, okay? So as you can see, we have put uh, made everything clean. All the doors and the trims are painted extra white. And these, uh, these blinds, some of them in some windows, they were broken. In fact, one, just a few was broken. So I removed it and I bought a new blind and I put it. In Walmart, these blinds are pretty cheap. This kind of blind maybe it's, even buy for 10 bucks. Of course, it may not be very high quality. This one is a little better quality, but, uh, but uh, it works, it, uh, it shows good. And then this ceiling fan here with the light, I bought it from Lowe's for about uh, $79, and it works very good, okay? And I installed it myself, which uh, it's not only saved, saved me money, but I get the satisfaction of uh, installing things myself, which I enjoy, okay? And uh, look at this carpet, see this carpet here? See, upstairs, the whole house, the carpeting was changed because in a, when you're selling a house, two things are very important. The whole house should be painted fresh. New paint should be painted in the whole house, not just in some rooms, and uh, just only in the bedroom, but uh, the whole house should be painted and also the uh, carpet should be removed and new carpet should be, should be, uh, should be put and then your, your house will sell, okay? So, uh, and then, uh, and this, is, this is the bathroom, this bathroom here. The floor was vinyl before, the old vinyl, okay? It was okay, but it was looking old. So I got it removed and I paid uh, about $1,200 to one contractor to put ceramic tiles in two bathrooms, this one and the master bathroom. Now we chose porcelain tiles because they are strong, they are tough. Even if you some heavy object falls on it, it's not gonna break. So, and then this one here, this mirror, was old, it was original mirror, it was okay, but in the bottom part had become dark. So it, it was not good. So I removed it and I put a, 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 a portable kind of mirror. That means I just hang it on the nail, okay? And, and you can see it, you can see, see, see this, uh, this one here? Inside is all white, so you have to put new paint. Uh, and um, and also here, see, see see here, all the cabinets, see all the cabinets inside, also white. All the doors are new paint, 
So when a buyer opens it, he would he would say, "Oh, everything is nice. Everything nice. It's uh, it's uh, uh, it's new paint. The doors are all new paints, and uh, and also see those AC vents. AC vents. I took it down. I removed the screw. I took it down and I cleaned it nicely and I put it back. And then this one is for the exhaust fan. See the exhaust fan. That also, I took it down and I cleaned it. Because when a buyer comes, he won't look at the thing. And if he finds it dirty, he will think that even the ducts inside are all dirty. Which are no, which they are not. It's just that uh, the vents are dirty. Okay? So, uh, so if you come here, now this bedroom here, this is the master bedroom. And the master bedroom, there was a missing smoke detector. So I bought one that the last 10 years and it does not need any battery and I just put it there, distorted it. And, uh, and then this, look at this, uh, this closet. This closet handle, this closet handle was uh, loose, so I had to fix it. And this closet again looks nice paint, see, as you can see, it's nice paint all over, all over. Not just in one lower area, but the whole, whole thing is new. So it sold very well. And, uh, and this master bedroom had a, had a ceiling fan which, which was not working. So I removed it and I, and I installed a new ceiling fan that I bought from Lowe's for about 79 bucks. And it's very important to put a ceiling fan that has lights because every room should have a light. If you have only ceiling fan, no lights, of course, somebody can say, hey, he can put a table lamp. Of course, you can put table lamp. But when somebody is buying it for 200000 250000 or $300,000, he wants everything to be working. He doesn't want to go and buy a table lamp and use it. Even though later on, he will put all his beds and he will have table lamp. But you should have a lamp. Okay? Now, this... Uh, this is the master bath. Master bath, it had lights. They were very cheap quality, very simple looking. So I removed it and I put this nice, a nice artistic uh, light that I bought from Amazon for about 40 bucks. And, uh, and then this here again mirror had, uh, it was the original mirror, it had become old and it had, uh, it had dark things at the bottom. So I removed it and I, I, I bought two matching, matching meters from home store, which has nice things. And I, I just hang it on the, on the nails, okay? And then these cabinets, see these cabinets, I painted. I painted in dark gray, okay? So and then this one here, see this one? This one again, even inside, it's all painted nice. So, uh, and then this room here, see this room, this room here is the uh, walk-in closet. You can just walk in, and this walk-in closet again is nicely painted. This is a bookshelf, it's painted in brilliant white. And this room here is painted in a little pinkish color. The next room is painted in yellow, but it's all over, the same color, same color. It's not that, it, earlier we had one color in the bottom part, another color in the top part, and it looks a little bit funny, it looks not nice. So, it, so now everything is same color, even though there is a color yellow here and little pink is outside, but at least there's two separate sections, okay? So um, again, again the AC fans, I took it down and I cleaned it, and this one here adjust exhaust vent, I took it down and cleaned it, and, uh, and then this, see this shower, shower room, shower room, the floor was a little old, dirty, so what I did, I got a paint from Home Depot made by Rust Oleum, it is enamel, wild based enamel, so wild based enamel, I just painted it on, on, at, the, at the bottom, only at the bottom, and, uh, and they, even some molds were there at the corners. 
So I cleaned it out and I painted it so it looks nice. And uh, and uh, and again this toilet here, this toilet here, and the bathroom. See, we have new put, put new ceramic tiles, porcelain tiles. And as I told you, I paid twelve hundred dollars to one contractor. He put new tiles in the two bathrooms, this one and the other small bathroom. And uh, again. The, 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 all the walls are light gray, same color, all over, all the whole house has the same color. Now, uh, another, another thing is, in all the rooms, I changed the, uh, see the door knobs? See this door knob here? Now this, this one was old, so I removed it and I put a new door knob. Because when you are working, doing so much work, you paid $1,200, $1,500 to put new tiles. They just they spent ten bucks to uh, to put the new uh, new uh, door knobs. So we put new door knobs in the, most of the door knobs we changed. Okay. Now this is this is another bedroom, which again again the closet is, is painted nicely. See you can see the closet is painted nicely. Doors are painted in brilliant white. Walls are painted in in uh, light gray and this light also I put a hundred watt bulb okay so I made sure that in every room the light is uh, proper that means neither too dim nor too bright because it's a bedroom you don't want the light to be too bright like 150 watts or something but uh, but at least 100 watts so that when you come in you can see nicely and uh, okay now let's go down. Now this is the stairs. See the stairs also we put the same new carpet. So let's go down on both sides. We, we painted them. Now here, this is the living room of the house. We had a laminate which had become old. It, had, it was broken on, on two or three places. So uh, what we did, we removed it. We hired somebody, we hired a company, they charged me about, about uh, $1,200 to uh, remove the old laminate and then clean the floor and they, so they put install new vinyl. This is luxury vinyl, this is a new vinyl, not the old vinyl sheets, but new vinyl planks they use. New, they are called luxury. Uh, vinyl. Now luxury does not mean that it's very expensive, it's just the name, luxury vinyl planks. So we, so we got this installed and, and I, again the, the trims, see, see the baseboards all around the, the living room, the baseboards, see the baseboards, they were painted white, brilliant white, okay, nicely. We, we put painter's tape on top and bottom of the baseboard. Uh, and then painter it so that it will be nice. If you don't use the painter's tape, then you, your, your brush will go here and go up and down and you will have problems. So painter's tape is a very essential tool to use. And again, all these, see this uh, electrical boards, electrical uh, the, the, uh, the boards uh, or covers, or electrical outlet covers, see outlet covers, we removed them and put new ones or we remove them and clean nicely with soap and water and um, and then re reinstall it with just a screw so it's very important to have all these outlets to look nice you don't want to spend thousands in other things and then have a dirty uh, like adapter or outlet cover or, doubt, or dirty switch cover look at this switch cover see it's nice it's new it's a new see it looks nice so uh, and, uh, and uh, this one here, see the ceiling fan, it's the same one as before, it's working good, but it was dirty, so I cleaned it, cleaned everything. And this ceiling, see this ceiling, see this ceiling, I hired somebody to paint it. The whole ceiling he painted with, with a new paint, and all of them, in the living room and also in the kitchen. Because there were some spots in the ceiling, uh, which needed to be uh, uh, painted. So it's very important to, uh, and you don't need to, 
You can use ceiling paint, but you can use any ordinary white. You don't want to use extra white paint, even though you can. But uh, this regular white or little, little yellowish, this is little yellowish tinge, uh, you can use it. Okay? And then this one, I had a uh, chandelier which was metallic, like a golden color. And my wife said that she didn't like the color, so I painted it in black and installed it here myself. So this chandelier looks good. See, if I turn it on, it's very, very, very bright, very, very lots of lights. And uh, and again, the kitchen. See the kitchen. The cabinet doors were white. They were old paint. So I put a new coat of paint. This is dark gray. This is light gray, and the walls is light gray. So the, so the matching dark gray paint. Uh, you can also put black, but it's better to put some other color. So, uh, so, and then this one here, see the countertop, kitchen countertop was already about a year ago, we had somebody installed tiles, ceramic tiles. Actually, they are porcelain tiles he installed. They're very nice because they, uh, they will not break. Even if you put some hot pot, it will not burn. It will last a long time, even if water falls on it, like from the kitchen, if water overflows and goes on the, the countertop, it will not get damaged. So, uh, and then this is a backsplash. See the backsplash, the artistic, nice, we had installed. This uh, blind was old and dirty. I removed it and put a new one. So, uh, and also in the, in the all the cabinet, the, see, see the, this, uh, this inside also we painted it, some we painted, some we put new, uh, new paper. Main thing is it looks nice. This one here, this is stove, we cleaned it, so it looks very nice, even though my wife says that I should put a new stove, but this works great, and it looks nice also. This one had an had a old microwave, over-the-counter microwave. This microwave was old, it was not working, so I, I removed it myself, me and my son. We both in, uh, installed a new, a new uh, over-the-counter microwave that we bought from Lowe's for $1.99, pretty cheap. 200 bucks plus tax, uh, we bought and, and then this here microwave. Now, if you have it, it looks nice, if you don't have it, then you have to cover it, but it's better if you can install this. So I installed it myself. And, uh, and then this, this freeze works, and I said this freeze is included in the house, because if I try to sell it, I will get maybe $75. But if I include it, maybe somebody can buy the house and he does not have to buy the fridge, okay? So uh, now, one, one more thing here. See, come here, come, come here. Now this, uh, this bathroom is the guest bathroom downstairs. When people come to visit you, they will use this bathroom. It's also called powder room. It does, it's a half bath. Now this one here, this, the seat was old. So I removed the seat and bought from Walmart about 10 bucks to all your seat. It's called, cost only 10 bucks and I installed it. And it takes only five minutes to install. You just have to remove two screws and put it. And, uh, and then we painted this, this uh, cabinet also. See? See this cabinet, we painted same color as the kitchen. And, uh, and also installed a new mirror, new mirror, because the old mirror was again old and, and bad. So, uh, okay. Now, this here, see the washer and dryer room? Washer and dryer room, also we painted nice. Even though wash and dry is not very important, but when somebody wants to buy a new home, he wants everything to be in a good condition. Not, uh, not, uh, not, and then. Now this is a garage. Uh, it's not in the best condition, but let me tell you, in the garage, we had a garage door, but it was manual. Uh, you had to open it manually with the hand. So I hired somebody, he, he charged, I first of all bought a garage door opener for about $245 from Amazon. It's made by Chamberlain, see Chamberlain? And uh, it, is, it is high quality, it's state of the art. 
And, uh, and then what he did, he charged me 120 bucks to install Chamberlain uh, garage door opener with the door. So the door he just, uh, door here, he installed. Now this one also it comes with a remote and, uh, and then he also installed this. See, see this control here? So I can open, by just pressing this button, I can open the, open and close the garage door. And there is also a, there is also a control here, control here. Uh, it, it's remote, it does not have any wiring. Uh, it has a battery, but when you want to open it, you put a code and press enter, it will open. Then the signal goes to the control, control there. And then uh, if your code is correct, he will open it. Otherwise, he will not. And, and then, see, see this uh, external light? They were old and bad, so I removed them, and I bought new ones from Lowe's, and uh, I uh, installed them myself, okay? And then, in the front of the house, we had grass which was missing. So we bought new grass patches, again from Lowe's, and we, uh, we planted them. And then around the tree, we put some bricks and then some uh, mulch, which uh, again adds to the beauty of the house. Okay, in the front of the house, when people enter the house, this area here, okay, had old paint. It was okay, but the paint was old. so. We uh, painted yellow. We painted yellow, and, uh, and of course the door is brilliant white. All the doors should be brilliant white, even though here it could have been different color. But uh, and then this this light here was well, again old, so I removed it. I put a new light. So because when people enter your house, uh, they, 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 it's, what they see in the uh, in the beginning is most important. Okay, so. Uh, so your, when they enter the house, what they see is uh, the, the garage door, garage door. Uh, and it should be nice. Yeah. What they see is the, your, your lawn, your, your tree, and the appearance, the front appearance uh, is uh, very important because they say the first impression is the last impression. If everything is inside the house is great, but your garage door paint is old or it's broken or in the front your door is dirty um, or your, your lights are broken, they will get a bad impression. And uh, bad impressions are hard to erase. And uh, so this is how we prepare this house for selling. Then we put it on the market and then let's see what the market brings. Hello. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe link below. Also write your comments in the comment section below. Spread the word, you can share this video with your friends by clicking on the share button below and you can share it with uh, WhatsApp, with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and by sending email to your friends.